Hello everybody and welcome to making chain mail. Um, some things you're going to need. You're going to want some needle-nose pliers, a pair of normal pliers, and some tin snips. Um, before you get started, <clears throat> of course you have to roll your own wire, unless you don't have to, but if you do, um, I'd suggest making one of these to roll your wire on. Basically, there's a hole at one end, and this part goes into a drill. So then what happens is you have your wire on a spool, you put it in the hole, you spin your drill, and you can spin your wire along it. And make these long rolls of wire. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your tin snips. And you're just going to cut along the single line like that. And you're left with these rings. So now that we've got a bunch of rings, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking five of them. Two, three, four, and five. And we're going to close four of them and leave one open. Now that we have four closed rings, you're going to take your open ring and slip all four of them onto it. And then you're going to close the fifth ring. like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to lay this out like that so that both like so both the two rings on either side are laying the same way and the one in the middle should be laying the opposite direction. And that's basically one set. And if you look at a piece of completed chain mail, it's made up of a bunch of these sets. Okay, everybody, now that I've got two sets and they're laid out the same way I'm going to take <coughs> another ring and if you look at um, this one here like these ones it goes through the top of these ones basically and the bottom of the these rings so this ring is going to do the exact same it's going to go through bottom of those rings and the top of those rings and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to close it so 
So then you're going to open it and it's going to look like this and that's wrong. If it looks like this and these two aren't laying the same way, then what you have to do is you have to take one side and push it over, pull this ring out, and then grab the rings again from the bottom. And now they're laying the same way. So there you have the beginning to a piece of chain mail. So what you're going to do is you're going to take basically little sets of five and you're going to make as many as you want and you're just going to attach them lengthways. When you want to go wider, what you're going to do is you're going to basically line these up. line both of your uh, strips of uh, sets up and um, put them through basically sew it up so you put one through there and one like that and then for the, and for the next one you would just go one down and through these two And that's basically how you make chainmail. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, to all my American friends and subscribers, have a great Thanksgiving weekend.